Months ago, I did a review on the CS8683 from Chipstar and got amazed by its performance, delivering over 120 watts RMS into a forums load without any pop-up noise. So today, I got another amplifier chip from Chipstar to review. This is the CS8685 amplifier which is a stereo version rated at 70 watts per channel. And unlike the CS8683, this is only rated at 28 volts DC. So looking at the board, its layout is solid as usual. Only thing I noticed is the, its terrible soldering job. All true hole capacitors are sticking out. Now let's take a look under its heatsink. And just like the 8683, they have the same package. So nothing new on the chip, it's just a stereo version. I fix its soldering job here and we'll proceed with the sound test. I'll discuss its sound quality later. For now, we'll proceed with the power test, loading both channels with 4 ohms dummy load. So here's my setup, the amplifier board and the test frequency is 1 kHz sine wave, voltage RMS measurement before clipping point. And starting at 12 volts DC supply, there's clipping. I'm getting 7.79 volts RMS here at 12 volt supply, drawing 36 watts total power from my power supply. And that was 7.79 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we're getting 15.17 watts RMS per channel at 12 volts DC with an efficiency of around 84%. I'll put the power rating for 16 and 20 volts later. For now, I'll go straight to 24 volts DC. And at 24 volts, my power supply is barely holding up because it's only 160 watts rated. And my other dummy load here is boiling some hot glue here. So that was 14.59 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we've got 53.2 watts RMS per channel at 24 volts DC supply. This is twice the power of the TPA3116 stereo at the same voltage and load. So the equivalent board of the CS8685 is two TPA3116 chips in mono. And it looks something like this and it is more expensive than the 8685. I tried 30 volts but my power supply is not enough. And it seems like this board can offer more power so I tried it with a more powerful supply. And I got around 94 watts RMS at 30 volts with only one channel. This is not recommended though, 24 volts is more than enough in my opinion. So here are the power ratings I got at different supply voltages. Now for its sound quality, it sounds like just the TPA3116. It has decent bass and high frequency response just like the TPA series. 
So, nothing new with the sound quality since the TPA3110 is still the best sounding Class D cheap cheap amps out there. Now, in comparison with the 8683, the 8683 is just as powerful as the TPA3116 at the same supply voltage and output load. It will only outclass the 3116 if it is supplied with higher voltage. Now for the 8685 stereo, as I mentioned earlier, this is twice powerful than the TPA3116 chip at the same voltage supply and load, equivalent to two TPA3116 chips in mono. And again, Chipstar did a great job designing their chips. 50 watts RMS into forums load with two channels is very powerful. In addition that it only has pop noise when powering it off, a very weak pop noise. This is a great alternative or upgrade to the popular TPA3116 with a price of 370 pesos or around 7 USD. So that will be all for now. You can ask questions below and the link will be provided in the pinned comments below. Give this video a like and we'll do something else for the next one.